review on the M1060Cs, which is a closed back version of the original M1060s. So I can't believe it's been more than a year since I bought the M1060s, which have been great. So for a while now, I have been looking for some good closed back headphones. The reason is I do most of my music listening and gaming at night. So with the open back headphones, such as the M1060s you see here, there, there is a lot of sound leakage. So I don't want to wake up anybody at night in my house. So I decided to get the closed back version of these, which is the M1060Cs that you see here. All right, so let's go ahead and check these out and I'll tell you more about them. So you can get the monoprice M1060Cs that you see here for $330. So they have this very nice wood here that indoors, it looks kind of dark. And that's one reason I'm doing this review outside for you guys to be able to appreciate the nice wood on the outside here. Color of the wood is brown. However, in certain angles, it looks like a reddish brown, which is a color that I really like. So here you go, it looks really cool. So first, let me talk about the build quality of these. As you can see, it is the exact same headband as the original M1060s. So one drawback is that the M1060Cs are heavier than the original M1060s, and that's because of the added wood and so on. However, it, since it has the same headband, so when I do wear these, I do feel quite a bit of more pressure on the top of my head right here, where this hits my head since they're heavier. <laughs> Since these are heavier, I do feel it more right here compared to the M1060s. So if you're looking for lightweight closed back headphones, these definitely are not it. These are these are heavier headphones similar to the Odyssey headphones if you tried those before. So the pads feel and look really good. They're nice and plush and they kind of have like this memory foam action. I'm not sure if it is memory foam, but so I can definitely tell the difference between the padding on the M1060s and the M1060Cs. Uh, this has more like a memory foam feel to it. I'm not sure if it is memory foam, but definitely feels that way to me. Whereas on these M1060s, it feels different. It doesn't have that memory foam type feeling to it. Of course, the biggest change from the open back M1060 is that the M1060Cs have this wood covering the ear cups here. And I must say, I'm pretty impressed with the wood they use for these headphones. It looks really good in my opinion, and it is surrounded by a metal band here. At the bottom, you have the connectors, and they're pretty much flush with this metal you see here. Whereas on the M1060s, they stood out a little bit. So the ear cups are pretty deep. They're very comfortable. As you see, I can fit a good chunk of my fingers in there. And I would definitely say that the ear pads on the M1060Cs have definitely been upgraded somehow. Feels more comfortable than the original M1060s. Okay, so one thing that I must say about the M1060Cs is that a lot of us YouTube reviewers have mentioned that we like the sound of the monoprice M1060s and we like the overall look of them. However, this headband needs to go. So if it's so a monoprice, if you're gonna change one thing in your next version of these monolith headphones, change this headband. This headband needs to go. Nobody likes it. It just twists all around and yeah, nobody likes it. I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, that's the one drawback to this. Uh, I'm always afraid that these things are just going to break off. It's only like this little screw here holding everything in place. And one day I'm afraid it just to snap off and I'm out of luck. So yeah, if you're familiar with the old M1060s, you can adjust the headband right here. Just move it up and down. For me, I have a big head, so I usually adjust them all the way up. Yeah, comfort wise, they are a bit heavier. You definitely don't want to lean forward. They're going to fall off your head. Just keep that in mind. The, these are definitely not Sennheiser HC 650s or, or 660s. These have some weight to them. All right, next, let's talk about the sound of the M1060Cs. To start that off, let me cover some of the specifications of these headphones. These use a planar magnetic driver. Their impedance is 18 ohms, and they have an efficiency of 90 dB over 1 milliwatt. With that being said, I really love the sound of planar magnetic headphones. Planar magnetic headphones just have this very precise sound to them that I really love. And those of you who have tried them probably know what I mean. My biggest takeaway from the M1060Cs are that they are very close to reference sound. These are probably the most neutral planar magnetic headphones I have heard. Those of you who are specifically searching for neutral sounding headphones that are closed back should definitely look at the monoprice M1060Cs here. Now first let's talk about the highs. The highs on the M1060Cs are very good. They're nothing like the Bayer Dynamic DT1770 closed backs which I tried a while back. Those actually hurt my ear as far as the treble goes. These have very good highs and they're not harsh at all which is great. Now one of the best things about these headphones are the mids. It's very hard to find headphones that have good mids. Most of the good audiophile headphones out there have a V-shape. So usually the mids are very recessed. That is not the case with the M1060Cs. The mids actually sound really good to me. 
Now let's talk about the base. I did have high expectations for these based on the M1060s. The M1060s had really good punchy base that I like. The M1060s, however, don't have that punchy base. However, the base on them is very good. I definitely enjoy the base on these M1060s, even though it's not as punchy as the open back M1060s. I would say that these definitely have a much more relaxed base. Now I want to talk about the character of these M1060C headphones because they are actually quite different than the open back M1060s. The open back M1060s here are actually much more fun to listen to. I would say they just have a lot more energy and the M1060Cs are much more relaxed. You're gonna wanna pick up your M1060Cs late at night when you just wanna relax and you just wanna listen to some music in the background, just kind of enjoy the music while you're... So yeah, if you can get around the fact that this headband is not very good, I, I think these overall look great and they sound great. So definitely worth picking up if you're looking for closed back headphones so i'll put up a link down in the description below if you guys are interested in picking up a pair of these for yourself okay so i hope you enjoyed my review video of the monoprice monolith m1060c headphones and i will see you guys next time all right i'll catch you guys next time